The future of humanity, aliens, and otherworldly civilizations is waiting to be discovered, unless they find us first. In the course of our species' development, there has always been the nagging question of whether or not we share this planet with anyone else. Many ancient Greek philosophers, including Epicurus, believed in the possibility of an infinite number of alternate universes. Throughout the ages, this topic has been discussed by countless scientists, philosophers, and writers. The Beginning In an article published in Scientific America in 1994, Carl Sagan, an astronomer and author from Cornell University, first made the case for actively searching for alien life. Scientists are finding evidence of the chemistry of life all over the cosmos, he said, even though Earth is the only known habitable planet. Nearly three decades after Carl Sagan's discoveries of the vast chemical components of life, we are on the cusp of a new technological era, poised to prove and find that extraterrestrial life exists and also that it can be abundant. How is new technology shaping the search for extraterrestrial intelligence? Technology has helped us get further in our search for alien life. Habitable exoplanets like Earth are much more common than previously thought, and the universe is much larger than we previously assumed, according to data from NASA's Kepler Space Observatory, which was launched to find Earth-sized planets orbiting other stars, and from increasingly sensitive radio telescopes. In August of 2022, with the newly installed James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers captured the first ever direct image of an exoplanet. The Cloud Among many mysteries like UAPs, there is something that lurks far away from our solar system, the Oort Cloud. When measured from the Sun, the Oort Cloud is the furthest known portion of our solar system, perhaps being between a quarter and half the distance to the next star. If you want to know how far away the Oort Cloud is, forget about using miles and kilometers, and instead convert to the astronomical unit, or AU. One AU is equivalent to the average distance from Earth to the Sun, which is around 93 million miles. Due to its elliptical orbit, Pluto may be anywhere between 30 and 50 AU from the Sun. The exact distances from the Sun to the inner and outer boundaries of the Oort Cloud are unknown although estimates place the former at 2,000 to 5,000 AU and the latter at 10,000 to 100,000 AU. You may always use time as a ruler if you are having problems visualizing such vast distances. Since Voyager 1 is now traveling at a speed of around a million miles per day, it will take the spacecraft another 300 years to reach the Oort cloud. For it to return to the precipice, it might take another 30,000 years. A very long voyage is still ahead of you even if you could travel at the speed of light, 671 million miles per hour to get to the Oort cloud. From the Sun to the Earth, light travels for a little over eight minutes, whereas the trip to Neptune's orbit takes roughly four and a half hours. The furthest region of the Kuiper Belt is illuminated by the Sun's rays around three hours after the light leaves Neptune's orbit. As the solar wind travels away from the Sun at a million miles per hour, it takes another 12 hours for sunlight to reach the heliopause, where it crashes into the interstellar medium at a speed of roughly 400,000 kilometers per second. Beyond this point, you will no longer be affected by the sun's magnetic field and will be in interstellar space. Sunset occurred around 17 hours ago. In less time than it takes for a human to go around the Earth once, the sun's light has traveled further from the star than any human-made spaceship. It will take another 10 to 28 days for sunlight to penetrate the inner boundary of the Oort cloud, and as much as a year and a half for it to penetrate the outer frontier of the Oort cloud. A new era. While the original Hubble Space Telescope was a marvel in its own right and could capture images of exoplanets, the James Webb is equipped to conduct infrared exploration of these worlds, enabling the detection of water and carbon dioxide signatures in their atmospheres. There are additional events that can be interpreted as indicators of life elsewhere. Scientists have discovered an ocean world on the exoplanet TOI 1452b, which is only 100 light years from Earth. In addition to being far enough from its star to support life, the planet is also said to be completely covered in water in an academic paper on the discovery. A beautiful new ocean world has been discovered by scientists 100 years after the discovery of Earth's ocean world. 
In light of this and other recent discoveries of potentially habitable exoplanets, a number of respected astronomers have concluded that we are not alone in the universe. To better understand UAPs, NASA has assembled a new team of experts because, as NASA's chief scientist Thomas Zuberkin puts it, data is the language of scientists and makes the unexplainable explainable. Events in the sky that cannot be identified as aircraft or known natural phenomena is a definition of UAPs. An official matter. But why travel so far when you have unknown visitors nearby? Government organizations and NASA research teams have greatly advanced the search for extraterrestrial life. These days, multinational corporations rely less on gut feel and more on scientifically-based tools. If NASA's UAP study reveals reasonable explanations for the unusual sky events we've been witnessing, perhaps we can all rest a little easier. Some have blamed hostile natural forces, while others have pointed to extraterrestrial sources for these occurrences. A growing number of people are interested in UFOs and UAPs thanks to the leak of previously classified videos and the Navy's release of footage from pilots' own encounters. Defense officials showed three clips to demonstrate how brief the aerial incidences could be. For this reason, understanding the content of the video was incredibly challenging. An official said that a considerable effort was made to come up with an explanation for one of the more notable cases. Bray played a video recorded in July of 2019 off the coast of California from the destroyer USS Russell's deck, in which appeared to be several pyramid-shaped objects hovering above the ship. The team didn't understand what they were seeing in the green night scope footage until they compared it to another video of a recent incident in the Atlantic. What's great about this is that it's a direct response to the will of the people, Corbell told ABC News. I am encouraged by the public desire to know and find out the truth of what UFOs represent to humanity. This is the most momentous happening of our age. Finally, the stigma and shame that have hampered the search for scientific truth on this topic have been removed, and the conversation can continue. Moultrie, a Pentagon official, admitted that he shares some of the crowd's enthusiasm for science fiction because he is a fan of the genre. But with so many sightings every day, this is far from science fiction. Will the government finally unveil the truth? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this.